Hey, I'm sick right now, but I want to pass science class with a decent grade, so you win some, you lose some. Hi, I'm a dragon. Don't mind the inconsistent scales and shading. Let's cover DNA first. DNA is an abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid. Hopefully I said that right. DNA is found in every nucleus of a living being, of course. In DNA, there are four proteins. Anine and thymine go together as well as guanine and cytosine. There are 20 amino acids, and don't expect me to listen to all unlike somebody else. Ribosomes make amino acid by reading the DNA. A mutation can occur when the ribosomes make a mistake with reading the DNA, like having green eyes. There are several variables in the dragons we made, each having two different outcomes shown on screen here. Here's the DNA code for a dragon with me. In class, we made strips of DNA with different proteins. These made different parts of the dragon, like the horns, color, and scale shape. Dominant traits are more likely showed up as a phenotype, while recessive traits are not as likely to show as a phenotype. Codominant traits is when two dominant traits merge together. Gene combinations are hetero or homozygous. Hetero means different, while homo means same. Gene combinations will be capital H and lowercase h. Capital H represents small horns, also known as the dominant one, while the smaller H will be representing the big horns, the recessive one. Let's say that the dad has the genes capital H and lowercase h, long horns and short horns, and mom has capital H and capital H, short horns and short horns. Since the dominant gene is shown in all squares, the child has a 100% chance of having short horns, and I'm that child. With no end gene combinations, we can see which person is more likely to get a genetic disease, occurring with CRISPR and Cas9. CRISPR guides Cas9 and showing it where to cut on the DNA. Then the area may be replaced or repaired. People can spot disease easily and cure it with CRISPR and Cas9. Less people can die. With CRISPR and Cas9, we can change the DNA of vegetables. This means naturally pest free plants and heavier apples, larger cabbages, and more. Knowing how to modify genes can help with greatly. We could make cows or produce more milk and make bacteria less deadly. You just watched a mythical being explain biology. Are you proud of yourself?